Uh, no, it should be really fun. I'm really excited about this. Like I said, Australia versus Netherlands in 2014. Australia was in fifth and Netherlands came in 11th in 2014 in England. So, so starting out in orange is the Netherlands. We will have blocking Slapsack 1337, number 22, Crystal Maiden, 37, Lone Star, 43, Halogen, and jamming for the Netherlands is number 52, Upiler. And of course, on Australia, we have number three, Matt Walker, uh, number 173, Copter, 311 is. Well, that's a good way to start. That's a great way for them to start straight out the back. Well, I hope you can hear us. Um, <laughs> my, I'm Sven. And I'm Smack Lamore. Apologies for the delay there. Looks like we've just got a bit of crossed wires. You may still be hearing the in-house announcers. Uh, apologies for that. It may get a bit confusing from time to time, but we'll do what we can. Sven, we're here. We're live. We're at yes, last. We're, we're live. Here. This is the Nerd Roller Skate uh, track at MRDWC 2016. You can see right now in the orange, we have the Netherlands and they are in the uh, skating us in the green Australia. In the green this time, not their delightful gold that we sometimes see them in. Skate Pilgrim, your first jammer out in this first jam for Team Australia. He's picking up the points just now. We'll get the scores to you as soon as we see them on our screen. Skate Pilgrim, though, nice little apex jump. Still has the star in his hand, tries to creep up the inside. Strong Australia team. I mean, we saw what they could do in Birmingham two years ago, Sven. You and I were both there. We both saw what a strong team this is, and they've added to it the depth of the Australia squad. Second to none just now, to be fair, and they're looking strong so far. Yeah, definitely. A big opening jam. 33 points on the board, four for the Netherlands now. Thankfully, it, sounds, it seems like we're going to uh, cross wires uncrossed. I think we are. We are free of the crossing of wires. We're good to go. We can, we can be a bit more professional now, so let's do this. So it looks like next up on track, we have Sausage Rolls, number 11 for Australia. He's going to be going as Anita for the Netherlands. Team captain Sausage Rolls, of course. Quite a social media savvy is Sausage Rolls. You'll often see him online sharing his videos and his training and his coaching going to see firsthand exactly how that benefits him on track here in Calgary this year. Well, I've seen him skating around with the tractor tyre behind him, which he doesn't seem to be doing here, so let's see if that's a hindrance. Thankfully, yes, he's minus a uh, <laughs> he's minus the, <laughs> that little parachute he wears, and it's definitely not holding him back. He's out lead jammer two in a row for Team Australia. <laughs> Netherlands blockers see him come and try and reset. Well, he's too quick, skips out and away on the outside, skips back in, five points on the board for Team Australia. Meanwhile, Anita still being held at the back by that three Australian blockers. Yeah, Skate Slinger just doing a great job of holding Anita. It looks like we've had the star pass to Johnny B. Rude, the Netherlands captain, who's now got the star on his head and is pushing his way through, but there's a nice triangle defence in front of him. Trying to push jammer-wise. We've got jammer on jammer, captain on captain, trying to put points on the board for both teams here. Sausage rolls and another pass. Meanwhile, still pushing back, even when they're down to two. Just incredible getting in on the action along with Slinger now at the front. Nicholas Rage heading to the penalty box. That's going to reduce the defensive lineup 
for the Netherlands, so it's going to be even easier for Sausage Rolls to get through here. It looks like the Netherlands are just trying to concentrate on getting Johnny B. Wood through now. I think they were trying to, but as he tried to work on the outside, I think it was the former jammer, Anita, who actually took a spill and took Johnny B. Rude down with him, which held up his momentum. No such unlock for him this time. Swerves around the front. He's now alongside Sausage Rolls. Sausage yep. Rolls thought he had the jammer cut there. Just managed to roll him off, but I think it was one foot out of bounds for Sausage Rolls, allowing Johnny B. Rude back on. No points go for the Netherlands, though. No matter how, how hard they tried. Strong skating from both jammers still for Manita first trying to push his way through and then from team captain Johnny B. Rood just taking over after that star pass trying to drive his way through. Now this may look a bit strange to you on your screens right now seeing a team Netherlands skater it's 3141 mastermind wearing a kilt but believe it or not he's actually got Scottish parents from what we're told so although he speaks fluent Dutch his English has a heavy Glaswegian accent to it so if you're watching back home hello to mastermind's parents. Looks like out jamming for Team Australia now. Can't see coming it's back around the end, number 34. 35. And he's going up against uh, Lone Star for the Netherlands. 35 is already out though, and completes his first scoring pass, picks up the five. Lone Star working all alone as he tries to push his. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go for a high block called there on the Australian blocker. Lone Star tried to push through, he dropped the shoulder and just caught him that little bit too high. That's Mr. Spew, number 1957. Looks like we've had the star pass to Mastermind, who is now making, uh, putting that kilt to some use. Off and away, kilt blowing in the breeze, he pushes his way through. He's trying to push that helmet, that star cover onto his helmet, sorry. Giving signals to his blockers, telling them what he wants. I'm not sure they were listening because they saw the jammer coming back. And another shot out by Australia, not allowing the Netherlands to score any points here. Yeah, 23 minutes 45 left to go. Australia 77 and Netherlands still on nothing. This next jam brought to you by Quad Skate Shop, team of the tournament. Fans, we're letting you choose one of our MVPs. This year's Quad Skate Shop team of the tournament will now include a fan favourite award as chosen by you. So be sure to check out the Facebook page during the play on Saturday. You can vote for your favourites. And on track we've got for Australia, Skate Pilgrim, and he's going against team captain for the Netherlands, Johnny B. Rude, who we saw take the star pass a couple of jams ago. Johnny yep. B. Rude just locked up behind that wall. It's not going anywhere. Ballistic doing some great kind of just short foot movements to hold him in place. Just enough to keep himself moving and prevent the penalties, but still enough to hold back Johnny B. Rude. Ballistic, of course, a lot of people may recognise from two years ago, skating in a Team England shirt, representing his national home country of Wales, uh, Australia, sorry, this year. And we've got a star stash. Johnny B. Rude has taken the, the, uh, the cover off, and that's tightly balled up in his hand. The bright orange colour is not easy to see in someone's hand either, unfortunately, but... That works to his advantage. He's looking, I think he's looking for the star pass for Anita, who's just ahead of the wall. Anita being shut out though and actually being rolled back into the back of the pack. So That's Johnny B. Rude out in front on his own. A couple of the Australian blockers looked like they fell for it though. They thought Anita had the star, they went for him. Turns out Johnny B. Rude still had it, but as soon as two went, two came in and held him up. Still nowhere to go for Johnny B. Rude. Anita does now have that star in his hand from what we can see out here. Trying to push, takes a hit, takes a spill around the outside of Mr. Spew, hops around the outside line. Quick footwork from Anita. But unfortunately for him, the Australian jammer Skate Pilgrim sees him coming, calls the jam and again keeps a clean sheet at the back for Australia. As the edge ever closer to that elusive 100 point mark, Big shout out to Alberta Sports Connection. The Men's Roller Derby World Cup would like to acknowledge the contributions of Alberta Sports Connection, which have helped to make this event possible. So a big thank you to the Alberta Sports Connection. And next up we've got yet another new jammer on the track for Australia with Trinda. Up against the number 5-2, that looks like you, Piler. It is indeed you, Piler. But unfortunately for you, Pyler, he's called on a track cut. He'll take a seat. So next up we have Power Jam for Team Australia. Power Jam sponsored by Roller Derby Athletics. And Mastermind is going in to join him. So reduced track. 
Things go on a little bit bogged down and slowed down now as they come out of turn two, back into that straightaway. Neither team given an inch as they try and create a bit of space. Still pushing hard, scoring pass done for Trinder, number 89 in the green, jamming for Australia. You can see the Netherlands blocker still trying to jockey for position, still trying to work hard. Walker coming in, working a bit of offence for Trinder, trying to clear a space for him, ends up taking his own jammer down a little bit, unfortunately. Oh, goodness me! That looked like a massive hit. Number 666, nocturnal damage, took a massive hit. He still hasn't quite recovered from it. He's up and back on his feet now, ready to go. You pilot just trying to squeeze around the back, but Ballistic managed to throw his back out and push you pilot off the track, making him recycle back again into that starting square. Looks like a high block called on Mastermind. He'll make his way to the penalty box, take a seat down there, and that puts the Netherlands down a blocker. And you can see the three they've got left on track. There's two at the front, but nocturnal damage still just trying to work a little bit of offense at the back, got caught up. You pilot desperately need some offense here. I think mm -hmm. the, the Netherlands should just accept the fact that Australia are going to be piling the points on, get their jammer out, at least get some tactical call off, at least try and get a point on the board. Try and get something, try and force the issue instead of allowing Australia to just completely take control of what they were doing. I, say, I think things got a little bit ragged, a little bit dragged out and a little bit caught away. They got pulled away from the Netherlands a little bit and they just got pulled out of the comfort zone ever so slightly. Australia have now broken that 100 points, 130 to nil for the Netherlands with less than 20 minutes to go in the game. Remember, all games today are just 30 minutes long. And on the Nerd Skates uh, jam line, we've got Nicholas Rage for the Netherlands. First time we've seen him jamming against Sausage Rolls. Sausage Rolls is out and away for lead jammer for Australia. And again, teams close up a little bit, tries to go around the inside line. No such luck, recycle back to turn one. Again, you can see there's always just that diamond three of blockers for Team Australia. They seem to sit back and hold. They've got the smallest range of foot movement, just enough to keep themselves from getting penalties. Nicholas Rage tries to squeeze up the outside, but Skate Slinger once again forces him to the outside and off the track, getting that recycle. Goes for the star pass to Johnny Beirut, but Johnny Beirut gets thrown to the infield, making him in in ineligible for the star pass. And that was easy for me to say. That was easy for everyone to say. <laughs> I didn't even try, I left you to that one. And Nita now makes his way to the penalty box. He'll take a seat. So Nicholas Rage still has the star clasped in his hand. Trying hard to push, 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 but there's absolutely no give in that Australia three wall. Oh, footwork from Sussar rolls up, up and away. Spins around the outside line. We've got a multiplayer block called uh, that is on Skate Slinger. So that's going to make it slightly easier for Johnny Beroud now, who's taken the star pass and will be jamming. Still got the pivot cover on and the star on his hand. But again, just that last hit from number 80, 8 0 for Team Australia, Flaming Gala. Enough to take him off and recycle him back down. And just as we think we see a bit of freedom from Johnny Birudi, he was chased down by the blocker. Skate Slinger again on his way to the penalty box. Sausage rolls with the apex jump. Let's see, we're going to see a point. We get two points on the board for Netherlands. There they go. Absolutely beautiful. That's why you don't stop until that final whistle. Great skating, great points up on the board for the Netherlands. You may have noticed they were down uh, a blocker for a little bit there. Nocturnal damage, still feeling the effects of that hit he took earlier on in the previous jam. Just over having a quick chat with the medics, but he's got his helmet back on now, so it looks like he's going to be okay. Obviously, won't be allowed back on track that quickly. So we have two Australia blockers sitting in the penalty box alongside one Netherlands blocker. But I'll tell you something, I think we're seeing one of the biggest blockers in this tournament on track just now, who's probably going to make up enough space for two. That's number 22, Crystal Maiden for the Netherlands. We've had the star pass already to Slabzok. Slabzok. Certainly not sleeping on the job as he heads off and away. 
Again, just nothing up for him at the end, but no points up for Australia either at the end there, Sven. So we can see now that once the Netherlands can get out, it is forcing those call-offs, so that's at least going to stem the points flow that Australia have got right now. That's what they do, they just want to stem the tide a little bit, bring things back under control, and like you say, try and force the action of Australia, instead of just allowing things to happen, try and force them to do something they might not want to do. So before the next jam starts, I'm going to give a shout out to Powder of Grayskull, bespoke handmade sportswear, proud sponsor of the Team Wales World Derby. Every item is designed and made in their studio in the UK. Want your pets on your legs? We can totally do that. The Power of Grayskull making your legs happy. I think there's a few here who are wearing Power of Grayskull clothing. Team Netherlands with a lead jammer. Saucer's Rolls is out and away. But it looks like that's number 37 Lone Star for the Netherlands. He does have lead jammer. But Sausage Rolls out and away on a scoring pass. Five points up there for him. Shows a lot about the perseverance and the mentality of this Netherlands team. He's got lead, he could have called it off earlier. He kept a clean sheet in the back, conceded no points. But they want to skate, they want to put the effort in, they want to go out there and drive and try and make things happen for themselves. And credit to them. It looks like we've got a power jam, uh, a power jam brought by Royal Derby Athletics as Lowe's Lone Star picks up the low block after he contacted Ballistic. Well, the Derby Athletics, certainly something that every single person we see on track today will benefit from. You can see again, Skateslinger there and just incredible, just trying to work hard to hold that one Netherlands blocker to the back, try and keep control of the pack and keep it with them. Yeah, that's Captain Borderline that they're just holding at the back and just making sure they can, as you say, control the pack speed. And that's very important when you've got a jammer essentially just doing laps. Let's not tire them out. Keep the pack speed the way you want it. Yeah, dictate play and keep control. Lone Star now back out of the penalty box. He does have that star stashed. It's back on his helmet now. And as he puts it back on, looks like he took a spill over one of his own blockers there just on the outside line as they came into turn two. Sausage roll skating backwards around. That's Captain Borderline who's gone from being at the back of the pack to now being away at the front. Big, big, big difference opening up now for Australia. 212 to 3 for the Netherlands. Just over 13 minutes left to play in the game. Looks like our jammer referees are going to be switching over now. They'll do a quick swap and whoever's swapping over to Australia is going to have a lot to do because so far, Team Australia have averaged 10 points per minute in this game so far. That, that's some impressive scoring, Sven. And it's Anita is going to be lining for the Netherlands. Before I can even read the shirt number, lead jammer has already been given. It looks like that's number 89, Trinder, for Team Australia. So he knocked her on damage, is back in play, but he's making his way off track now. Looks like he's heading towards the penalty box. Anita just being held in place by that impressively tall Australian blocking wall. You can see he's taking the star off as well, Anita. He's got it in his hand, he's trying to get it. Look at that, there's just absolutely nothing being given by that Australian wall. Again, with the three holding at the back, Mr. Spew moves up, creates a bridge. Links the two groups together, holds a pack, and it just allows Anita to stand and fight against three. Another score and pass through for Trinder. A little bit of offense coming into work now from number 22, Crystal Maiden from the Netherlands. Came back trying to help out. Here he comes again. Comes in, just drops that shoulder and shoves Page number 3-1-1 out of the way. But again, just that reforming of a wall from Team Australia. As soon as one's out of position, the first thing you see them do is look for their friends, look for their buddies, get back together, form the wall as a unit and just hold tight. Oh, hip check from Page. Just dropped the hips and took Anita off to the outside line. Mastermind this time takes a spill on the inside. And you can see that penalty box has emptied out ever so slightly. There's one Australia blocker in there. Nocturnal damage back in, working a solid bit of blocking to recycle Trinder back. I think Trinder's just knackered. He's done. 
so tired, calls the jam off. Australia, 237 as it stands. Nope, sorry, tell a lie. That's jumped up 242 to the Netherlands, three, with just over 10 and a half minutes left to play in the game. I'll need to check, but I'm, I'm trying to think of a jam so far where Australia have failed to score 30 points. I'm struggling. Maybe, maybe one. Two. We've been reliably informed they've had two jams where they haven't scored over 30 points. They've had a 19 and a 25, so that, that's disappointing for them. So close. Skate Pilgrim now jamming with a star for Team Australia. Johnny B. Rude, captain of the Netherlands, is now jamming duty for them. We've seen him jam once or twice before. We've seen him take a couple of star passes as well. He's not unfamiliar to the star. And he's currently just trying to squeeze his way past Ballistic, giving nothing. Yeah, just again, drops his stance low, pushes his way through, and keeps pushing to get him on there. And again, the team's getting bogged down slow, down Skate Pilgrim's off and away. Ballistic this time taking off on the inside line. First time I think I've seen him leave track and except at the end of a jam so far. Can't quite see where that star has gone for the Netherlands. Looks like it has been passed to their pivot. Number 83, Nicholas Rage, seems to have it in his hand now. Johnny Berud has handed it over, he's passed it. Still trying to drive, but still trying to drive. Takes a hit and a spill off. Copter. Nope, unfortunately for Copter, low block assessed to him. He'll make his way to the penalty box. Nicholas Rage back on his feet, trying to find the gap. You can see he's out on his feet. So much work for the Netherlands jammers trying to push their way through, but Australia's defence so far has been absolutely outstanding. Just had an update from the Sisu uh, track. Mexico, after five minutes, Mexico are currently holding Canada 12 to 4 wow. after five minutes. Five minutes. Now we played. want you to stay here and watch this game, but as soon as this one finishes, you need to get across and watch on that Sisu track. Uh, yeah, you do. From Nerd to Sisu, it's going to be worthwhile. Pack spread out a little bit out of the corners of turns one and two. They slowly catch up on one another. Impressive little leap across the apex. 41 point jam. 40 point, 40 jam. point jam being adjusted there. Drop back down. Sorry, we lost our screen just as they adjusted it back down by one. Australia now 2 8 2. Netherlands 3. Eight minutes left to play in the game. This is the first time we've seen him out jamming for Australia, potentially number three, four, I uh, believe, dirty five. We've seen uh, he jammed in jam three, at least jam three. we've seen him. It's been a while since we've seen him. Uh, we've got an elbow pad. Someone is missing an el well, a hard shell from an elbow pad. Please, everyone check. Every looks like the refs are just guide them in a head, shoulders, knees and say. toes. <laughs> we get the head, shoulders, knees and toes dance as everyone confirms, yes, I am indeed wearing my pads. We're not entirely sure where that came from. But it looks like its owner has been found. It has been returned. We can call off the search. It's always nice when you see families reunited with their pets. Number 5-2, you plier now out jam, or you piler, sorry. So easy to get that wrong. Jamming for the Netherlands, takes a hit off to the inside line. Lead award at the Dirty Five as you pilot start another assault on the pack. Trying to find a gap, trying to find a way to push Mastermind in. A big hit to Dirty Five. Nicely done with the hip check, takes him down. Number three, Fuzz, who's wearing Walker on his shirt, picks up the multiplayer block. You'll find that a lot with not just the, uh, the announcers, but a lot of people in general not recognizing skaters because a lot of them at World Cup tournaments like this like to skate with their. Their actual names, their legal names. See, that's the sort of thing you like to see, even in a game like this. Big score difference, respect from Australia. Still high five in some of the Netherlands skaters as they come off track. It looks like we've got a bit of an injury stoppage. Uh, we're going to get a team timeout called, I believe, so we're going to go to commercial. S1, 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 S1 is part of my uniform. A clear path through the pack almost never exists. 
so we fight and make our own. And we're back. Yeah, so back there we sound. go. <laughs> uh, that was just a little bit of a stoppage. I think it would look like uh, you, Pyler, are taking a bit of a knock to the nose. Um, <coughs> and had a bit of a, a nosebleed. Um, so obviously we had to deal with that there and then. Uh, that commercial break was brought to you by Quad Skate Shop. Um, we'd also give a shout out to rollerskating.ca. Rollerskating.ca is Canada's roller skate store, a trusted provider to derby teams all across Canada for over 11 years. With the best customer service, we sell and service all the top derby brands, safety gear, and tons of recreational skates too. Over 30 years of expert quad skating know-how at your service. Call 1855 Roll Skate or go to Rollerskating No G dot C. <laughs> I love that they actually did that roller skating. That's nice. That's how a lot of people refer to it here anyway. I mean, there's been a lot of action so far in in today, and we're only what I don't know halfway through the day. So far, Sven, this, this promises to be one of the most exciting weekends of roller derby people have seen in a long time. Yeah, I mean, if the excitement and hype of the first Men's World Cup is already kind of being levelled and, and equalled in this opening morning, yeah. so let's, I mean, I can't wait to see the next few days. I can't wait to see the rest of this day play out. It's going to be so much fun. The timeout now has come to an end. And it looks like we're going to be restarting on the Nerd Roller Skates jam line with Anita jamming for the Netherlands against Sausage Rolls for Australia. Sausage Rolls just turned around, basically doing the work for his blockers now as early as he can. I think he wanted to give his blockers a bit of a break and thought, okay, I'll work defense on Anita for a little bit, and then I'll go out and take lead jammer way out the front. Lovely little 360 ducking spin move by Sausage Rolls. Gets him under Johnny B. Rude to pick up lead. But what Johnny B. Rude has done now is actually taking a star pass. He's now out jamming for the Netherlands. He seems to be the go-to guy for the star passes. I think he's received more star passes than anyone else so far on the Netherlands. We're just going to start calling it a Johnny B. Rude pass soon. Yeah. Australia now edging closer to that 300 point mark. 291 to the Netherlands 3 with about 3 minutes left to go in the game so far. Looks like the Australian bench coach is, is saying they should have had the fifth point there, but the jam refs, they've counted and recounted, they're only going to give the four. I, I, I like how they're pushing even for that extra one, giving what the lead is so far. Well, given that the group stage is going to be de de uh, decided on the score difference, every point here can mean whether you get top seed or second, uh, like top spot or second spot. Very true. They'll fight as much as they can. And the, if the skaters have to fight for the points on track, the bench coach is certainly going to fight for them off track as well if they can. Fighting for points just now for the Netherlands. It looks like number 37, Lone Star, out jamming for them. Skate Pilgrim just shrugs off that block from nocturnal damage. And Copter picked up the low block over on turn two in that big pile up. I think that's been at least two low blocks called for Copter so far in this game. He's a big guy. Easy to see why you can get low blocks called on him. Skate Pilgrim just getting low to get out the pack for another five on the board for Australia. Lone Star did take a spell, did go off on the inside line, but they tried to draw the cut on them, no such luck. He's out and away, you can see he's tired, he's done in. But what an effort from Lone Star from the Netherlands. 310 to Australia, Netherlands three. Minute 40 left to go, and this has been, has been a solid showing from the Netherlands. Let's give them the due. They're getting a lot of crowd noise behind them. It's been a good showing from them so far. Their jammers are working extra hard. Their blockers, as the game has gone on, are starting to form together. When they can keep that four solid as a wall at the front, they have actually done quite well together. And you've got to remember they are going against one of the best teams from uh, in the world right now. Exactly. Uh, you know, from the demonstrating MRDWC uh, in 14. Anita, you can see, still jinking, still juking and jiving, trying to find a gap, not going to push too hard. Going to try and use his quick feet work to go through, takes the star off, tries to stash, find the gap for it. You can see again, if he's going to pass it, it's going to be to that pivot, Johnny B. Rude. It's 
So as five more points go up on the board from Australia, they're averaging more than 20 points a jam at this point. And Ito just trying anything he can to get through. Just tried like a 180 apex, but got knocked to the inside, forced to recycle again. Team slow down a little as they come out of turn two, back into that straight away. They're slowing down. Both teams trying to take control of the pack as much as they can. Nicholas Rage comes back on, just trying to open up a gap for Anita, but Anita's already been recycled back behind Ballistic. Johnny Mirud tries one last hit on Trinder. But it looks like as they did that, although he stashed the star, he has it in his hand. Track cut called on number 96, Anita. Gives a thumbs up to the Team Australia bench as he goes round. Again, acknowledging just how tough a game this has been. Elbows penalty called on Ballistic, number 16. And that's, of course, going to get us into a roller derby athletics power jam situation for Australia. I think that may have been Ballistic's first penalty of the game so far. I can't remember. No, number two, we're being reliably informed. But again, nice clean game being held. Nothing really too heavy, nothing crazy going on from either team. Crazy footwork going on, though, at the front there from Trinder as he skips around with Johnny B. Rude. I'll give him this with the Netherlands. They are fighting to the last. And you see how hard they are trying just to keep uh, Trinder back and from getting through that pack. Flaming Galar comes in and just charges through into offense. Creates a bit of a space, scoring pass through to finish, and we get the long rolling whistle to tell us that this game is done and dusted, Sven. So that is going to be our unofficial final. We'll wait for that to be ticked over and hit the box for official. <clears throat> Indeed, I mean, you saw the reaction of not just the fans, but the Netherlands team as a whole when they got those three points up on the board against Australia. It's a massive achievement and a massive accomplishment for them, and they are so, so proud, and as they rightly should be. Yeah, I think. Well, you can hear it there now. Australia certainly living by their motto of you shall not pass. They've managed to shut out either by just effective blocking or by some tactical jamming. They've, the only, I mean, holding Netherlands to three points, that was just some brilliant work by both offensive and defensive lineups, knowing when to call it off just before the jammer can get in, yeah. or just being plain able to call the Netherlands jammer at the back of the pack for as long as possible. But I'll give them their credit, the Netherlands didn't lose the fight Never once, once did they stop. Uh, I mean, you talk about sort of point scoring and jamming. Number 89, Trinder, averaging 32 points plus, roughly, per jam. Just over 32 points per jam from that one individual jammer. Trinder looks like he's going to be one to keep an eye on as this weekend starts to unfold. It's been a fantastic opening for Team Australia. Netherlands are going to take a lot out of this game. Massive respect between both teams. Both are going to be fantastic to watch for as this weekend goes on. You can see <laughs> signal there from Mastermind. He loves the crowd. He loves Team Australia. He loves his teammates. And they're all extremely happy just to be a part of this. And if you want to follow the, the, the rest of the adventure for today for Australia and the Netherlands, at 1,700 hours local time, if that's local to Calgary, obviously not local where you are. Yeah. Um, Australia will be taking on uh, on track two. Uh, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. There we go. We just saw PR and thought we've got a promotional team taking on Australia. Yeah, and then obviously, and straight after that, at six o'clock, 1800 hours, yep. Calgary time, uh, France will be taking on the Netherlands. Both of those games taking place on the Sisu track over on track two. It's going to be an epic weekend. It's been a fantastic day so far. Long may it continue, Sven. Yep, and next up on the Nerd Roller Skates track, we have Puerto Rico versus Belgium. Ooh. And that will be coming along in around 25 of your Canadian minutes. About 25 of the Canadian ones. Uh, remember, we mentioned earlier as well the Mexico-Canada game that's going on currently just now on the CSU track. By all means, switch across and go check out that one. After five minutes, Mexico holding Canada 12 to 4. Yep. Phenomenal game. Go check that one out. I've been Smacklemore. And I've been Sven. We'll be back later on in the day and throughout the course of the weekend. Thank you very much for listening. Nerd Roller Skates is your dedicated quad roller skate shop in Calgary, Alberta.
Being a nerd is about being really excited and really passionate about a really specific thing. And the thing that we are really excited and passionate about is roller skates. Nerd Roller Skates. Official Skate Shop. Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. For people who roll. I am your fortress on the front line of sport. Engineered to be stronger than the attack. I defy convention by protecting more with less. Breathe easier, hydrate faster, speak more clearly. I am Sisu, and I fend for you. We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left.
the path. If you block the block, then I can jam the trap. Quads on the floor, styles on the head. Roller to be locked with the zebra said. Yeah, we rollin', yeah, we rappin' for real. Can feel the back wheels underneath my heels. Up through my spine, penetrating the heart. Call it up the jam till the next jam starts. Oh, my bro, 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 bro. 